Okay, well, there's a difference between getting along and getting obsessed. Just don't lose perspective. Relax. I'm not gonna relax. You work so hard on yourself. I don't want you to go backwards. I'm not. Be honest. I am. Thomas, do you really think Hope's gonna leave Liam to be with you? She's in a committed marriage. I and mean, they have a kid together. Well, sort of hope and I. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another bold and a beautiful review. Well, here we are heading into the Hope for the Future fashion show this week. And Steffi seeing the writing on the wall that Thomas is becoming obsessed with Hope again. So today was all about preparation for the big fashion show and a lot of conversations around Hope and Thomas. Let's get into it. Hey, you can't entertain this, no. Do you have any idea what you're doing? I'm not doing anything. Thomas, you are in a really good place right now. You have Douglas full time. Yeah. You can't be obsessed with Hope. I'm not obsessed with Hope, okay? And this isn't about me going after her. She's the one that said that I'm hot. So Thomas is going on and on about how happy Douglas is that his parents are getting along together and how Douglas said he would love for Hope and Thomas to love each other again. And Steffi definitely noticed the red flags there and called Thomas out on it. Now you see at the end, they still have Thomas harping on Paris telling him that Hope thinks he's hot. I just knew they were going to use that for a plot point to drive Thomas further into his obsession with Hope. And that's clearly what they're doing. And on a side note, Paris is supposed to be head of the foundation. Why is she ha helping Hope get ready for a fashion show? She's taking Hope's notes like she's the assistant. So I guess they're trying to worm her into the storyline, don't really have a storyline for her, but she's supposed to be the head of the foundation. I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And there shouldn't be anything that you're anxious about when it comes to Tommy. Okay, that, see, that, when you talk that way, that does worry me because we've always been anxious about Thomas and for damn good reason, namely all the terrible things he's done, some of which have occurred in this very building. Do you remember the roof with the helicopter when he literally tried to kidnap you and assaulted me? Hope, be for real here. There is not this much being naive in the world. I have to give it up to Liam. He's making some good points here and Hope is standing up there getting mad, talking about she can take care of herself. Clearly not. If even Steffi is seeing that it's not right how he's talking about Hope and she's got her head in the clouds acting like she can't see that he's getting too close again. Not only that, she just saw last week that the doll is back and she still let that slide by like it was nothing. Come on, Hope, this is ridiculous. Come on, Ryder. Forever. And my God, you're about to spend the weekend with Thomas and our two children. Oh, I, I, and I'm not right. Right. Because Douglas wants to have his parents no. in the same room together no, every now and no, then? No, that is not what this is. This is Thomas using Douglas to get closer to you like he's always done. No, he's not. Yeah. Yes, he is. And you just, I don't know why, but you don't want to see it. But this is the same guy. He has not changed. What do you want me to do? My preview is tomorrow. So Hope goes on and on about how she knows that Thomas has changed. And you see Liam call her out about, you said that the last time, but you were wrong. She didn't say anything about that, but he has a point. Now, Hope did say, say something interesting through this. She said, I know what I'm doing. So that is that to make us think that she has some other plan and she's not just acting like she can't see that Thomas is getting obsessed with her? I don't know, but I will keep my eye on that. So they left with this conversation with Liam begging her to try to convince Douglas to come back home. Of course, Hope just kind of stared off in the space and they, they didn't go back to it. So we then see Hope and Thomas putting the finishing touches on the dresses for the line. One of the models asked Thomas out and he says no because he has to spend time with Douglas. Now, instead of Hope encouraging him to go out with the model, when the model leaves, she goes on and on about how she sees all the changes Thomas has made over the past year and how she's so thankful to him for helping her out with the line and making googly eyes at him. Then he goes on and on about how wonderful she is while she blushes. I mean, oh my goodness. While he's telling her how great she is, he goes off into a fantasy sequence of Hope walking out on the runway and locking eyes with him. And you just know this is not going to end well. Now, like I said, they keep hinting at something happening at the fashion show. I think the fashion show is going to happen over Wednesday and Thursday. So I guess we'll see how this turns out. 
I just wish that Hope would shut this down a little bit more instead of playing into it and being all giggly and blushing at him, knowing that he once had an obsession with her. Even if she does not think that he's obsessed with her now, just the fact that he did at one time should be enough for her to set clear boundaries. And I do not like the way they're writing this. Drop them in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Do you feel like it's interesting that they're playing this up or is it a little annoying? What is Hope thinking about? Spending an entire weekend with that psycho. It's Douglas. Uh-huh. You could not let that happen. Yeah, what am I supposed to say? Douglas wants to spend more family time with his real parents. So real, real, real parents. Douglas is a kid. Since when the kids call the shots, and as far as real parents is concerned, you were a dad to Douglas while his father was kissing mannequins. I know. Leave it to Bill to have the best one-liners, but he does have a point. The child should not be calling the shots. I did not like it when Liam was going over to Steffi's house playing house, and now Hope is doing the same thing with Thomas. It's not a good look. And the way they both just let this stuff happen without taking a stand. No, no, no. I would be packing my bags too. If my child is going over there, meaning Beth, then I'm going to. We all go into the Forrester Mansion. They have plenty of rooms. And let's just make it a whole family day. Call Steffi and Finn over to bring Kelly and Hayes. Let's do it. Have the whole family over. But Liam keeps expressing that he feels in his gut that this is not going to end well. So again, they're alluding to something happening. We don't know what. I guess we'll find out by the end of the week. So we shall see. And we also had Justin back on the scene. I don't know if they're going to bring him more into the storyline, but today he was just doing his lawyer work, doing contracts and stuff. So I guess he's working for Forrester now. Those are our major scenes for today. So now it's set up for the fashion show over the next two days. Well, I guess there's going to be a lot of drama with that. We are going to have the winner of Big Brother and two of the other house guests on as part of that as well. They actually were kind of in a love triangle on the show. I don't know if they're going to play that into it. You know the bold and the beautiful loves a good love triangle. So they may play off that angle as well. We shall see. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.